I think the clay season is going to be unbelievable. Unbelievable. First, there is so much on the line because who's going to win Roland Garros is a key. If it's Rafa, he has two Grand Slams more than Novak. If it's Novak, they go equal and Novak has a better chance than Rafa than on grass. And this battle between those two for the number of Grand Slam titles is unbelievable. So Roland Garros is, can be a key in the season. If you look at the start of the season, and if you look at the global situation, Novak has the lead for me. He's winning more Grand Slams than anyone every year, so he's the huge favorite to win more Grand Slams than anyone. But because of this COVID story, he was not able to play most of the year, so he's lacking a lot of matches. And on the other hand, Rafa gained so much confidence because as Novak wasn't playing, he won almost everything. You had Novak who had a big advantage, and with what happened, Rafa now has the, the edge. But then Rafa gets injured, so he's not going to be able to play enough this year. And then it comes back to a kind of a balance. So what is so exciting? Is Novak going to be able to win everything until Rafa comes back from his injury? That would be a game changer, because then you would have Novak with a full, full, full confidence back. But it's not going to be that easy, because when you don't play much like he did the last month, the little he played, he lost early. I mean, it's not easy, even for Novak, for anyone, it's not easy. So this is a key. What's going to happen in the next weeks with Novak will give us a taste of the chances of Novak and Rafa in Rangaros, which, as I said, is a key. And there might be a joker who can be maybe Alcaraz, maybe Stefanos, maybe someone else. We'll see. I think for Rafa, it's going to be tough. Thankfully for him, he has a lot of confidence from the start of the season. But we know how much he loves to play a lot of matches before Rangaros to feel fully, fully uh, in control. He needs control. If he doesn't feel the control, it's very difficult for him. So the fact that he cannot play many tournaments before Rangaros, it's going to be a big hurdle for him for sure. For sure, because he has no other option than to play well straight away. A lot of times at the start of the clay season, he doesn't play well at all. Last year, for example, he didn't. And he needed four or five tournaments to start to be the real Rafa. He won't have those tournaments this year, so he has no other option than to play great from the start, and this is not easy for him. If you think about Rangaros now, you can think that it's the most open for the last 10, 15 years. If Novak is able to win a lot between the start of the clay season and Rangaros, then it won't be that open, because Novak, is, when he's at this top, even on clay, I think he's the best player in the world. I know it's weird to say that when you see the number of Rangaros that Rafa has won, but if you look at the, the, the figures, Novak beat Rafa many times on clay, many, many times, and sometimes quite tough, with a, high, with a tough score. If they have to play each other in the last stages of Rangaros, the match of last year will count in their mind, for sure, 100%. In the sense that it's going to be, uh, I mean, Rafa is going to be tense, for sure, and Novak will be much more aggressive because he will feel more confident going against Rafa.